Ladies and gentlemen, the staff and management of Freehold Raceway is proud to present the 61st Dexter Cup three-year-old Colton Gelding Trot Final for a purse of $115,583. Let's meet the field. The one is 50 ways, was third in last week's elimination. The lightly raced Gelding is three for seven lifetime. Is owned by George and Tina Dennis Racing of Wyoming, Delaware. Trained by Joseph Colombo, the driver Steve Smith. Two is Ambassador Hanover, who accepted a buy into this week's final. He's making his seasonal debut after being fourth in the New York Sire Stakes final last fall. Ambassador Hanover, owned by Aki Sponsted, ordered by Standard Breads of South Dakota, H. and J. Taylor. Trained and driven by Aki Sponsted. The three is Sonny Crockett, who also accepted a buy into this week's final, was the Simpson and Liberty Bell champion last year. He also makes his seasonal debut for Willow Oak Ranch of Rogersville, Tennessee, and the Andy Miller Stable Incorporated of Millstone Township, New Jersey. The trainer, Julie Miller, the driver, Andy Miller. The four is Believer, was fourth in the elimination last week, is owned by Mally Norby and Arnold Whitkin, trained by Randy Taft, the driver, Brian Sears. Five is Credicon, was second in last week's elimination and was a Weiss Series participant over Pocono before that. Is owned by Lee Sitto, trained by Todd Buter, and driven by our local leading driver, Austin Siegelman. Six is Chapelier, sixth in last week's elimination and might have a little bit of home field advantage here as he's been racing at Freehold this spring. Owned by the Purple Hay Stables LLC of Fairport, New York, trained and driven by Trond Schmetzhammer. Seven is Incommunicado. Last week's elimination winner was second in the matron at Dover last fall and absolutely breezed through the Massachusetts Sire Stakes last summer. Owned by Newton Trotting of Delray Beach, Florida, Little E of New York, New York, A. Geiger and D. Stoltz. Trained by Aki Sponsted, the driver Yannick Jingra, looking for his second consecutive Dexter Cup after winning in 2019 with Osteric. And completing the field, it's number eight, Share the Wealth, was fifth in last week's elimination, was a Weiss Series participant at Pocono, as well as the Kindergarten Series the Meadowlands last fall. Share of the Wealth, owned by Ray Schnicker, T. Gerwitz, M. Kinsey Arnold, and P. Bordonia. Trained by Ray Schnicker, the driver, Daniel Dubay. Field is in the hands of the starter. Eleventh race trotters on the turn. Dexter Cup three-year-old Colton Gelding trot final. First major step on the road to the 2021 Hamiltonian. Eleventh race trotters approaching the start. They're off in the Dexter Cup final. Share the wealth made a break right at the start. From the inside, Ambassador Hanover trying to cut the corner with the lead. Credit Con handled aggressively here early by Austin Siegelman and wants a piece of the early action as well. But now Credit Con goes off stride. Credit Con has made a break around the first turn. So up top, showing the way, it's Ambassador Hanover. On the outside, Incommunicado and Yannick Jingra now pressing on to take the lead. Back to third, that's Sonny Crockett in advance of Believer, who's an early fourth. Next, we come back to 50 Ways, who's fifth in advance of Chapelier. Credit Con back trotting after the miscue, and it's far back to share the wealth past the opening quarter in 28 and 2. Incommunicado shows the way by two lengths. Ambassador Hanover stalks from second. From third, it's Sonny Crockett. Next, we come back and forth to Believer. Then it is 50 Ways, followed next by Chapelier, Credit Con, and still far back to share the wealth. Single file they come past the faithful on the first occasion. An incommunicado on top by a length and a half over Ambassador Hanover through a half mile of 58 and 4. First to the outside, it's Believer now applying pressure to this leader. It's incommunicado and Believer stride for stride. Watching it unfold from third, that's Ambassador Hanover. Second over, slightly gapping the cover. It's 50 ways. Sonny Crockett is locked at the inside. Third over with the excess cover is Chapelier. The back two, Credit Con and Share the Wealth. Towards three quarters they go, an incommunicado with a short lead of a head. On the outside, it's Believer as they pass three quarters and 127 flat. Incommunicado now quickly disposing of the challenge here. Believer now opens back up by a length and a half. Ambassador Hanover now moves through at the inside to claim second. Getting ready to move three wide is 50 ways. Locked at the inside is Sonny Crockett as they come towards the top of the stretch. Incommunicado and Yannick Jingra there in front by three lengths. From second, it's Ambassador Hanover, but as they come through the stretch, Incommunicado and Yannick Jingra, oh, what a dazzling display here in the Dexter Cup final. Incommunicado and Yannick Jingra to win. 
Up late for second, it was Sonny Crockett. Close for third, Ambassador Hanover and 50 ways. Final time, 156 and three. Incommunicado is a Dexter Cup champion. Judges post on the board first number seven, Incommunicado. They'll examine a photograph before posting the remaining numbers. Coming back to the winner's circle now, it's the unofficial winner of today's 11th race, the Dexter Cup Final. The seven, Incommunicado, a three-year-old bay gelding by Chapter 7. Out of the Cantab Hall, Mayor Grand Cavalla. Incommunicado was bred by the Moneymaker Stable in Connecticut, owned by Newton Trotting of Delray Beach, Florida, Little E of New York, New York, A. Geiger and D. Stoltz, trained by Aki Svonsted, the winning driver, Yannick Jingra. Incommunicado, 156 and 3. Lifetime win number 6 from 12 starts. He makes it 2 for 2 in his 2021 campaign. Incommunicado quickly approaching $300,000 in lifetime earnings. And Incommunicado now a Dexter Cup champion as he takes his first step on the road to the 2021 Hamiltonian. With the trophy presentation in the winner's circle, from Freehold Raceway, Howard Bruno and Karen Faglierone, and from the Hamiltonian Society, John Campbell and Moira Fanning. the 11th race now official winner number seven incommunicado 320 260 210 second the three sunny crockett 820 three dollars third the 150 weighs four dollars and fourth the two ambassador hanover two dollar exacta 73 27 60 dollar trifecta 731 62 90 and the dime super 7312 17 dollars and 77 cents 